Welcome back everyone to episode 9 of Akenshi Let's Struggle. We start off this one just like always, recouping from the last episode because we're under attack every about 10 minutes I'd say in this one as well. I put down some more storage for our iron because we're starting to get full on that and I can make some decent money by selling that. I put down a house and then a wind generator too so that we could start to get our town looking a little bit more full. Going into the research tree, I had tech level 3 up next, so I decided to go grab a few more things from the tech level 2 tree before I go and grab more books for a bunch of other stuff that we need. I wanted to get all the research for training done. I sent Shaggy, Bangs, B01, and Splinter over to the way station with a bunch of iron to go sell, and we made like barely that much money about like 20k in total from the huge haul so i went back to my base after but we at least did have that 20k left now back of a base it was all going well everybody was just getting fed getting research done and then black ninja gennings decide to attack us of course now we end up showing up before they start their attack they had some speech that was going on but Shaggy and B01 and Bangs interrupted it and started slaughtering fucking house. Well, technically, they were slaughtering outside because they weren't inside of a house. The rest of our party actually stood a chance this time. Mostly, they usually just get knocked out after a few hits, but everybody was putting in some work. After we had a shit ton of ninjas, though, just lying dead with two swords each, so I filled up our inventory for like three or four characters so that we could have a bunch of swords to sell. Now, trying to finish building on here, I realized that I couldn't do it because uh, it was out of a radius of my town for some reason. I did finish in front of our gate because our gate gets knocked down easily, so I'm setting up another defense that way. Enemies that do want to raid us have to go through this gate first, through these walls, which will be turrets all over, and then we'll get shot down, mowed down, and by the time they do get into our base, they'll already be fucked up. At the way station, I made a lot of money by selling all of those swords. I'm really hoping the Black Ninja Gennings come back soon. I'm thinking of not taking out their tower just because of this. Because their swords sell for quite a bit, around 300 to 1400 each. So, it brought me back up to about 74k, which was fucking great but more importantly it was 1738 o'clock in kenshi and a slave raid had occurred at the base again now last episode half of our team got carried off to a slave camp so my anxiety was high as fuck and all my strong units were still at the way station leaving just my weak ones to fight and once my strong ones did get over there they started clearing out um the slave traders pretty easily our units that were left at the base did do some damage to them already, and a lot of them were still alive fighting, thankfully. But it was of course just B01, Shaggy, and Bangs putting in the most effort. And once we had defeated the assault, I was getting everybody to bandage each other up when we had another raid um, just bestow upon us, this time from the hill mar marauders. They wanted to pay us a visit. Now this has been the third raid. <laughs> in a matter of like 20 minutes for me and I I was astonished because um what I knew we we're gonna probably get our asses kicked this time bangs could barely walk and we were outnumbered on the bright side a slave trader was being eaten alive by a bone dog that was a great sight to see but a not so great sight with our party just slowly getting their asses handed to them they couldn't really do much they, they were outnumbered big time and most of our people were knocked out still as we're fighting the hill marauders, the holy nation just decided to come over because it's also prayer day, gotta remember that. So they come over and, you know, expect a prayer day, but they get caught in a crossfire, which leads them to be attacking our troops and then attacking the hill mar marauders as well. Now this wasn't good because we could have maybe taken the hill marauders, but the high paladins and the holy nation we definitely couldn't handle. And after they like beat all my people, they stayed for a few hours in game just to make sure that everybody was at critical condition. Mostly just until their party got up so that they could leave. It was at this point I realized somebody was carried off during that slave raid and they're being brought to a fucking slave camp. 
and I hadn't noticed this the entire time. This was like three raids ago, early in the morning, and I just realized it. So I got B01 up immediately as I knew he was the only one who was going to be able to take on another slave camp. He did it last episode, so he can do it again. I brought him to the way station and got his health back up as all of his parts were pretty injured, and then making it straight to where Fujin was being held. Now, when I looked at the slave camp, immediately just a bunch of fucking slaves spawned in, like hundreds of them. I, I have no reasoning for how the slaves got there. I mean, like, there's enough of them, but they could definitely overtake the uh, few slave traders that are chilling there. There's, there's hundreds of them. If you are in a group of that money, many and you get enslaved by like five people, you deserve to be a slave in a way. Can't really vouch for any of them. B01 went and started to unlock the shackles and other shit that was keeping Fujin held. But the slave traders wouldn't have it. They started attacking B01, so he did take out the entire camp in the process of saving Fujin. So I don't know if the slaves were freed or not. But they all just sort of stood there, so it doesn't really matter. Back of the base, I'd finally set up a tower, and I was thinking, oh yeah, I got my nice tower set up, it's fucking great. But I couldn't see through it, and it looked kind of, it looked like ass, honestly. So, I had to move on with that project. I couldn't even dismantle it for some reason. I put in a swamp dome instead, so that would be the hub for where all of our people will go to train once that's built. I had Shaggy and B01 and Bangs on their way to the way station where they got attacked by a group of Holy Nation people. Maybe the same group as last time, I have no idea. But either way, they started slaughtering. Um, they knocked out Shaggy and Bangs and then B01 was just left f facing fucking arrow after arrow. So I sent him into the way station because I was hoping maybe the trade ninjas would be like, Oh, you guys can't be fighting here or something and then try and fight them, but they they just walked right by it They didn't really give a fuck and this led to B-01 being pushed into One of the storm shacks houses through the wall. I had never seen this before but this was fucking astonishing He later got knocked out the same way falling right down the hill crack All while, while bangs and shaggy made it there. They were then attacked by Black Ninja Genins, of course, and we couldn't take them on this time because everybody was beat the fuck up, so it was back into the crack for B-01. On the bright side, though, they had rounded up all of the bodies, so a lot of weapons were just hanging out on the ground. So I, grabbing all of those made me a decent amount of cash, enough to pay for food and other shit and more books for research. I had about 61k when I was done selling everything, and this was on day 53. Going back to the base, I got B01 to put all the limbs that he had grabbed from the way station onto our people who had lost limbs, and then continued with research. Now, I got a lot of the training stuff going into for research, and Farming is also a priority. I just need to look for the plants for farming I was also getting the walls outside of our base set up slowly once those are set up and I have my plan all Done it'll look a lot better now the swamp dome was finally ready and we had researched everything that we needed so I started placing different training things first off three different turrets inside and then four different attack dem attack dummies for melee offense with a thief lockbox in the middle just to make it look a little bit better then placing in two lock picking chests as well as two rugs for melee defense and martial arts a few more dexterity pulls that way we can train dexterity as well and then I also put some prisoner cages in here that way I could start to take some people that are knocked out, put them in here, and then recruit them that way. And I also plop down about five different strength training benches as well. I also take a while to get everything done, but I had people running back and forth um, grabbing materials as the days went by. So also getting the turrets set up, I set up three turrets 
on top of the wall and then three more turrets right at the gate and it was at this moment that we had a triage bandit raid and they decided to raid me from the other side of my uh <laughs> of my place which um just f fucked up my day because now i'm gonna have to redesign the other side as well on the bright side though we did stomp fucking ass they all got destroyed by B01, Shaggy, and the squad. I decided to heal a couple of the triage bandits and get B01 to bring them back and put them into the cages. That way we would have a few recruits to recruit. And with that, everybody was training. We had stuff getting more set up and everything was looking pretty good. Next episode, I'll probably be trying to get more farming uh, stuff set up as well as making some more progress towards the tech tree and other shit. Either way, if you liked this episode of the Kenshi Let's Struggle, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more, and peace.